on YouTube, this is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat. And in this video, I'm basically going to explain to you guys my favorite electrical component to doing. I'm trying to create my own project, make my own Arduino project or anything like that. I'm just going to drop my favorite electrical component. And basically what it is, is it's a it's an add-on that allows you to do voice commands. You can add music to it. You can add sound effects. Pretty much how to add any type of sound to a project is pretty much what I'm gonna break down to you with this component. It's called a serial MP3 player. And like I said, this is one of my favorite components because there's nothing like having some sound in the background that you added to it or having a voice command to really just spice up your project and really put a little flavor into your project, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like some voice commands, especially if you hear your own voice. So I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys the code show you guys how to construct it and add it to your project this is pretty much the whole thing of doing the whole entire voice command it's just these two little things right here sd card typical memory card for android since forever and then you just have this right here which is your serial mp3 player and this is it like literally these two is how you can make any type of voice command add it to your project so let's get into it as always i'm gonna drop the whole entire code below i'm about to break down the code i'm actually show you guys just how to add this to your project man let's get into it it's technical heat man all right so before i just jump straight into the whole coding process i already know somebody gonna ask me yo how do you even put the memory card into the serial mp3 player so let's just get into it real quick so basically make sure this part is facing this way silver part is facing straight and the same side I showed before, the actual memory card coloring and all of that stuff that have the numbers on it, it tells you how many gigabytes and all that. It's facing the opposite way. You literally just put it in like so, and then it will click in. Let me go ahead and let y'all hear it. And then it's locked in. That's pretty much it. Cause I know it's gonna be a whole lot of people asking, hey yo, how do you even put it in there? Because I done been asked this a bunch of times. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's locked in, it's not going nowhere. So you ain't gotta worry about, if you put this into like a race car or anything, it's not going nowhere. It's like locked in. And if you wanna take it out, all you do is literally push it back down. And that's it. That's pretty much it, man. Just like that. So it snaps in, it snaps out. Hey, so remember when I actually showed you guys how to make a mini speaker with the amplifier? So I'm actually show y'all pretty much how this could even tie in with that. You could just easily connect your own speaker that you make based on the video I made. Definitely go check out that video with my actual serial MP3 player and instantly play your own audio. So let me just show y'all a little quick snippet of what I'm talking about. So boom, take three steps to the back. There you go take two steps forward all right just to show you guys how this works the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just record one like voice command and then right after that i'm gonna record another voice command and then i'll just pick some audio just to throw in as the third so it'll be voice command voice command, and then another type of sound, any type of audio. I'm gonna just throw that in the mix. So that way I could easily just show you guys at minimum, at least three audios you can just throw into this memory card and then show you how to add it into your project. So let's get into it. I'm about to just go ahead and just drop some real quick. I'm gonna show you the whole process. Take two steps forward. Okay, so now I have the audio where it says take two steps forward. So what I'm gonna just do is just get rid of this extra right here where I didn't say anything, just delete that. And then go right here, just get this a little bit, delete that. And now I'm gonna just save this real quick. And it's something that's really important after you end up saving your audio. And I mean, you don't need no actual voiceover or actual audio type of software like how i do you don't need this it's adobe audition it's like one of the coldest ones by the way definitely check it out but i mean you don't need this you could literally make the audio from your phone if you wanted to so what you'll end up doing is saving it once it's an mp3 file like just like so once you save you just gonna right click rename that and you're gonna make it 
zero, zero, one. Take three steps to the back. So now I'm about to do the exact same thing for this one and save it, except I'm gonna put zero, zero, two. That's also for the code. So now you actually have two MP3 files already and they already embedded into the code once you add it, just by naming them these specific numbers. So no random guess, but the next one is gonna be zero, zero, three. And this one, I'm gonna just go, I'm about to just use any type of audio file. I'm gonna try to find the one that won't give me like a copyright claim. So I'm gonna just try to find some type of random beat and then kind of just slide it in there. And I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible just so I don't get no claims or anything. But I'm gonna obviously rename whatever song I end up downloading and just make it as zero, zero, three. So I just heard this instrumental and I just decided I'm gonna just copy it, put it into YouTube converter, put it inside the bar, you know, hit convert and then actually take the audio, wait for it to download. Soon as it end up downloading, what I'm gonna do is do the same thing like I did with the other files that I just showed y'all. Only thing I'm gonna do is rename the whole file to zero, zero, three. And y'all can use this YouTube converter and to add any song y'all want really, like it don't matter what song it is as long as you stay abide by those rules of actually using the number system, which they want you to use for this particular um, voice commands. Let me go ahead and see. Okay, here we go. Right click, rename, and then 003, done. So just like that, we have all of our voice commands slash instrumentals what i'm gonna do is i'm about to go in right now and make this uh audio really really tiny because it's, it's it's pretty long for right now it's about a good three minutes or something like that let me just go ahead and make like five seconds that way y'all could see exactly what i'm talking about and not have to hear the whole entire audio all right man so we have our first voice command our second voice command and then thirdly we have our sound our actual music so the next thing we're going to do is make sure you have your SD card adapter because you want to make sure this is how you'll be able to connect it to the laptop. But just make sure it's all the way in there. It's locked in there. Or if you have an SD card and you record on your phone, you could just drag and drop. Well, I mean, you could just select and put it onto the SD card if that's something you want to do if you only have a phone. But anyways, still going with the laptop example. So just make sure you plug it up till you hear that sound there we go so boom there I go the folder it says it's nothing in the SD card and the only thing that it will actually read for the code is these specific numbers so what we're gonna do is just drag and drop it inside the folder all right it copied inside of the folder so that's all we need right so right after that close the folder up eject it all right so the next thing we're gonna do just take it out flip it over and like how I said to install it before just do the exact same thing all right y'all so this is basically the code cuz I know everybody don't want to just go about learning how to make this actually work from scratch so here is the code it actually shows you everything you need to know to implement voice commands to your Arduino projects or any project you got if you just want to add some voiceovers to it this breaks down everything and I mean if you're confused don't worry about it I mean it's notes down here it explains all of the main abbreviations if you want to know how to pause it play it skip it all that stuff I can actually show you guys how to go about doing it. It shows you each individual thing for what you want to do, how to like actually have the volume to this maximum point for as soon as it goes off, all of that good stuff. If you want to actually rename it, because I mean, it can be zero, zero, 001, and then right after that, you could add other words, but you just have to make sure there's no spaces and make sure that zero, zero, 001 is in the front. Same for the second, zero, zero, 002, then you can add words, but no spaces. That's going to mess up everything. But when you just starting out and just not trying to get everything going, just go with the 001 and 002 like how I pretty much did before. And then after that, you can read all of this and really customize it a little bit more if you want. But I'm definitely going to drop this whole link down in the description for you guys to get and check out. And right here is pretty much key and it pretty much tells you your exact 
spots for where you want to plug it up into on the Arduino. You see right here? It actually shows you, you got RX, you got TX, you got VCC, and then you got the ground. So immediately, like I already mentioned, the 3.3 volts that can go into that port, the five volts that can go into the port two for the VCC, the voltage. And then your ground port, obviously I just go into the ground. So then your RX and then your TX. So right here, it tells you where to put that into, all right? right there that's all you have to worry about so basically five is going to go into tx six is going to go into rx so make sure you got that down pack i know it have it differently in the front it's just confusing just make sure you go with what it have in the backslashes for each port to connect to on your arduino so once you end up uploading this entire code make sure these two are inputted into those two make sure of that so now i'm about to plug it up and actually show you guys let's go ahead and get it all right so literally copying and pasting the code see what i did i literally just copied and pasted if you're not a coder this is all you got to do copy paste it boom paste it inside of it that's it the exact same thing to the t to the t and i'm gonna drop the code below drop it in the treasure chest just be all. And then now we about to verify, make sure that it work. Verify, we good, we good, we good, we good. Now I'm about to upload. Uploading. Take two steps forward. All right, so you could basically hear it. I have my auxiliary connected to my speaker and you just heard it. I could upload it one more time just to let you guys know. It's pretty loud, it's crisp. Take two steps forward. So now the way that they have this coded is to where if you want to go into the serial monitor, you can actually switch up whatever you want to hear. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, there we go. So right here, it pretty Take much Take two steps forward. So it stays right up in here. You got pause, PS pause, PL play, play previous track. Play next track NX. So let's just press NX and let's see what happens. Boom. Right here. And then NX. We're gonna hit enter. Take three steps to the back. NX again. Uh NX again. Let's go. Take two steps forward. All right, so now we're gonna do PR and just go back. All right, so now we're gonna do the same exact track, but we gonna pause it. So PL, then PS. There you go, man. Like, just like that, you have it. And if you still don't necessarily, you know, get everything that's in here, like I said before, all of the evidence, all of the juice, all of the actual instructions of how to put everything together is in here. But people that's not as, you know, tech savvy, I'll say, everything is in here. They pretty much break down everything to the T. I mean, if you don't, if you still don't get it after looking through all this, just hit me up and ask me what you need to know. And I got you. And that's pretty much it. And the way, what I like, the reason why I use it, I like to make certain things go off at certain times. So that's another reason why I end up using. So just because you can, you know, press play here, next here, is a way if you have like a sensor or anything or any type of like triggers or any alarms or something like that, you can actually have it play during designated times. But that's a story for a whole other day. But obviously, if you guys have other things going on, y'all could clearly use the same sounds for different things. And that's pretty much the whole entire video, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. Did this help you guys out? Did it not? Did the links help? Just let me know what y'all think, man. And I'm out. Hey, man, this is my favorite electrical component. I just wanted to say that again. I've been kind of waiting to drop this video. I ain't even much gonna lie.
And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help the channel. Definitely go check out my Instagram, DreDaPlug123. And then go also check out my other YouTube channel. I'll have a link down below. This was the channel I started a little while ago. Oh, it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a fresh cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts and be looking forward for the next video that drop. And I'm out.